So look, bro. Happy Monday, everybody. Favorite day of the week. And you know, by me just saying Monday right now, I notice. Y'all know how I go, like, I upload Tuesday, not Wednesday, not Thursday, probably Friday. It be up and down on what days I upload. But I notice every week I get on this camera and say, happy Monday, bro. I for sure work on Mondays at the top of the week. It's just something motivating about it to me. You know what I'm saying? Um, we got a video right here, which is going to be dope. I'm already knowing it because I'm reacting to No, I'm just playing. It's going to be dope, though, bro. Just by the title that I see. And every time my boy send me a video and he put fire emoji behind me, like behind the video, when he texts it to me, <clears throat> email it to me, or sometimes text too, I'd be, I'd be like, oh, this finna be hard. If he send it to me with no emojis, <clears throat> I'd be like, dang, Jake, you slipping. My burps ain't been coming out. I'd be burping, but only half of it come out and half of it stay in. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, uh, on Saturday, bro, rest in peace to little Key that I say Saturday. Um, family going through it, ain't nothing like losing a family member. And when I be like, it ain't nothing like going to Hawaii. It ain't nothing like, I don't mean it like that. I'm talking about the sorrow, the pain, the sadness, the the regrets, bro. When somebody pass, when somebody pass, when I say regrets, you could be with them six days out the week, their whole life, right? If that was the past, you wish you was with them seven days out the week, and that beats you up on the inside. It do. But the reason, rest in peace, little kid, the reason why I say Saturday, um, yeah, that $50 first comment is coming back for the simple fact I got me a sponsor deal, and y'all know every time I give me a sponsor, I give y'all half of that. This just came on the channel, and y'all the ones that getting the views up on the channel. Other than that, we finna get straight into this. This, um... Please be recorded. Yes. Think about recording at the house, bro, when you do a videos and you're a YouTuber. I only gotta be dressed from like the neck, from the chest up, well, well, from the waist up. Other than that, I be having my pajamas and all that shit, you know what I'm saying? House shoes and all that. Well, sandals. One more thing before I start the video. Oh, well, this is my channel. I'm going to keep on doing it. You know what I'm saying? Y'all notice when y'all be like, hey, goes, goes. We thought you was going to start the video. You talking a little too much, especially them new dudes. Y'all got to go somewhere with that. Anyway, the homies too. Forget the new dudes. The homies, the day ones, it seems like y'all know how I get out. I said that to say this, bro. Y'all see, I still keep talking about them comments. Don't mean nothing to me. Ghost trying to get more minutes. No, but yep. No, I'm not trying to get more minutes. By, by me talking, just how I be ratting, I end up getting more minutes. Oh, well, I'm, I'm, I'll be all right. <laughs> I'll be all right. They go to video, though. <laughs> hey, who, who, who baby needs some clothes? Because my kids grew out of theirs. Yeah, go. This gotta be like in New York or Philly somewhere, bro. I only seen on TV, it's well up in San Francisco too, but I only seen on TV and YouTube where the stores are just this small. You know what I'm saying? I be having claustrophobia. I mean, I'm claustrophobic. I be having claustrophobia. <laughs> bro, I ain't comfortable nowhere. If I'm in a hood and I'm in a small store or like four or five dudes, I'm uncomfortable. If I'm in Beverly Hills in a small store, or like four or five, right? Like, all right, I be feeling uncomfortable, but I don't know why. I just think I be out of place. Y'all look at me as a human, but inside, and I look in the mirror, I see an alien, a demon, a ghost. You know what I'm saying? I just be feeling like, I don't know. I could, this is how I look at things. Everybody in their life did something bad in their life, and every time I go outside, I'm around somebody that did something scandalous in their life, so I'm on point because you might try to do it to me. You know what I'm saying? I don't trust nobody, bro. I'm only. I'm only cool when I'm in the house. Promise you that. Hey, let me get, let me get on. Let me get look, look how close on. he is up on him, though. That's what I'm saying. And he got a Walmart sweater. Shout out to Walmart. How you know, Ghost? That NASA sweater, I used to live here. Well, not live in the parking lot. Then I had bought like three, four of those because I had to wash them one time and turn gray. But I, shout out to Walmart. That NASA sweater is still drip. Not even uh, 
And this this the thing about crime, bro. This is why people why this is why people see red and they have tunnel vision when they on a mission. You know what I'm saying? They do not be worried about cameras. Not even that they worried about cameras. They don't think about them. Cause if they was worried about them, they wouldn't even do it at that point. I promise you. It's just that you ain't thinking for some reason. You just not thinking you recorded when you ready to snap on somebody. But since them two dudes laughing, it's only them two dudes up in the store. It don't look like they had no altercation or no beef or they knew each other. I want to know how this went left, bro. Who's the right here, too? Yeah. Hey, what's your homie on? Tell him, kill your homie on, baby. You better spot two. Hold on. Now we got to take it back. He said, what's your homie on? Them two dudes ain't his homies, right? Hey, Charlie, Charlie, for a new boy, 100. They ain't his homies. Oh, boy got a cane in his hand. Look. Look to the far left. Look to the far left. Yeah. Hey, let me get, let me get a hold. Not the reaction video. Of course, it's on the left. I'm talking about two people on the far left. One of them is an old dude. They got a cane. Look. And he put his hand behind him, helping him out the store. Hey, look, look. And a blue point I was on. I think I'm going to get him saying Tommy for it. The setup, you know what I'm saying? Oh boy, could have bought the Newport 100s and all that right then and there. The only reason why he didn't buy it is because he went to the back of the store or went in one of them aisles, cocked his pistol. He the one that started all this, bro. I can already see it. He went back there, probably bought the, where the uh, pink lemonades at, the cookies or whatever, on one of them aisles where they couldn't see him. Cocked his gun, make sure he was ready. Then he went back to trip. Notice when he go back, he don't say nothing about his new portion, nothing. He walk up on them boy and say something like, them and your boy, it sound like he said on BD. And the pack of gum. And he yelling while he walking in the pack of gum just to throw him off even more. That's something I do. You know what I'm saying? I'm already not from you. I say, ring this up. And I'm walking down the hall. Hey, boy, give me a pack of gum. And I'm just throwing you off while I'm trying to. I'm telling you, bro. Uh -huh. Right here too? Yeah. Hey, what's your homie on? Tell him, you better spot two people that die right here. On BD, you better watch who you're talking to before you die right here. Whenever you tell somebody that, you be you better be expecting to die right there. You know what I'm saying? You don't... I can see if you talk to your little brother, your little cousin. You're not finna talk to nobody like that in public and they just be like, all right. And I don't even care if you ain't talking to me like that. If you tell me my homeboy is going to die right here, I'm going to fire on you right then and there. I'm not going to pop you. I'm going to be 100. I'm going to fire on you right then and there. Go tell the homie and see what's up from then. Like, what you want to do with this? Is he a factor? Is he do you know? Like, you know what I'm saying? He's saying all that, bro. Even though I say he went to the aisle. Put his pistol. He cocked it. He got everything ready. Oh boy, in the black suit, he said that, could have fired on him, knocked him out, took his pistol, it's over. They don't even be, the thing about street dudes, bro, the thing when you in the hood and you in the streets, I can see. when it come to fighting, they defense, they off, offense be up to par, but they defense is subpar, like a month, you know what I'm saying? The average, not all of them, just like, it ain't no way I'm going to tell a dude that your homie finna die with my hands down. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> he could have fired on you. You wouldn't have no time to put your hand. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, my God. Tell your homie on plate. Oh, my God. What? Who you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. Tell your homie out there. Better watch who you talk to. Oh, my God. What? Then come on. We don't even smoke. Fuck out my face, dude. 
Hold on, you mean to tell me your boy mad because he tried to say something? Wait, I'm lost. I'm lost. I'm lost. You better watch who you talk to, okay? Oh God, tell your homie on plate. Oh God. Oh God, oh God. You know what I'm talking about. Tell your homie out there, they better watch who you talk to. Oh God. Oh boy, tripping. They're talking about weed. I don't even smoke. Fuck, I want to play, dude. Fuck, I want to fucking weed. Go for it. Yeah, boy tripping. His baby mama didn't give him none. He ain't got no money. He low on some. His music video only got nine views on YouTube. It's some reason he's mad because somebody tried to sell him some trade, bro. If that's your boy right there, I'm thinking at first I was like, oh, they probably know each other from the hood or whatever, but I don't even, they don't even know each other. I don't think. He just said, is that your boy right there? You know who I'm talking about. Tell him I'm... Now I'm hoping they bust on him. I'm keeping it real, bro. You talking all this yes up in the store. I'm behind you. You let me get behind you. You on the ATM. Oh, God, this. That's your homie. I'm I swear to God, I would have fired on him speaking up on my boy. Like, I'm not even lying. And in a way, even though he's speaking up on his boy, he pressing him. You getting pressed about your boy. And if I would have seen this and a homie don't do nothing, I would have been like, bro, what's up with the homie? Man? I would have seen Ghost react to it. Bro, press you about him. You ain't do nothing, man. How you supposed to know you don't smoke though? It's what I'm saying. You live up in the hood, bro. We hustlers. We trying to eat, feed our kids, pay some rent, phone bill. Huh? All he trying to do is sell you some weed, bro. I don't if somebody's gonna rob you, they did it already. They have to go down already. They have to go down. Wow, he pulled a pole out. Bro got the pole in his right hand, bro. Anybody in Chicago? Is this a store out there? Detroit? LA? Nope, nope, nope. LA? Nope. It's not LA. This is not playing like that, bro. They're not playing like that in this store, not like. Anyway, where did this happen at? Because. Oh boy, the, the red, orange, yellow, whatever it is, is a goofy. And I don't even say goofy, bro. He a goofy. For real. Hey, yo. That's what's gonna happen. You want it that? Ooh, I'm at Wow. Wow. Oh, shit. Yo. That dude is a buster. Do you want to? So that's what I'm saying, bro. When people speak up on y'all like that and they got a pistol. I know you be scared. I know your heart racing. You got butterflies. You don't know what to do at that point. But just don't stand there. Attack him. He got it down like this. He, it was so many times he could have knocked that boy. I'm not even. This got me so hot. This got me so hot. This got me so hot, bro. Still busting this door. So did somebody shoot at him or he just still shooting at the... So when he ran out, when he ran out, somebody ran in. It looked like the dude that ran in that was ducking had a... I'm at oh, oh yeah, a boy got a pistol right there and the other dude had a pistol. Hey, look, the store owner, like, I knew this would happen eventually. I'm not even lying. The clerk or whoever that was, bro. I just got shot, bro. And that's how easy it happened up in the hood, bro. So to y'all that always be like, why he got a gun on him? How you get caught with a gun again? Why you riding dirty? Why you... You ain't got to be on no bush. But them other dudes do. He just came up in the store and just like, bro... Tripping that somebody else tried to sell him some weed. You know what I'm saying? That's why they be keeping it on y'all. I'll catch him on the next video. DJ Ghost one.